Hello and welcome to an unboxing of a vintage model aircraft kit and as you can see this is the uh, Junkmeister one quarter scale model and it's actually produced or was produced by Svensson I believe a Belgium company in the 1970s I stand to be corrected on that as you can see the box itself is rather battered uh, I discovered this at a chap's house uh, when he was clearing out some of his models and I was looking for a, a vintage um, model to build uh, this wasn't it by the way I spotted this tucked away underneath his workbench and I asked him what it was and he was rather dismissive of it he said oh well nobody's really interested in that because it's missing the cowl and I said could I have a look anyway and he said sure so let's have a look so let's lift the lid off and the first thing I was greeted with was the view of some enormous plans four sheets in fact and the model gives you some idea of its scale obviously one quarter scale of its size it's a huge beast of a model but with that being said it still comes out in a reasonable wingspan of 65 and a half inch wingspan which although not small is an outlandish for a quarter scale model so the plans give you a hint that it's very much a balsa build project you can see that these even this size aren't big enough to include the whole wingspan and I believe that dimensionally it's very accurate doing a little bit of research on it uh, and that being the case I do intend on going to town on it a little bit and adding some extra scale detail in a similar way to when I built the Flare SE5A I've enjoyed that process very much and I hope that this will give me the opportunity to do a similar uh, sort of thing but with this uh, this beast of a model um, these are the formers which make up the fuselage very chunky very spacious I think you'd almost have room to put your entire hands inside it uh, this is the offending part that's missing uh, it was a spun aluminium coal with a dimension of eight and a half inches um, I may have a go at making that out of fiberglass. You can see here, this was about the limit of engine size which was available, two stroke 90. However, two stroke 90, or I suppose an equivalent of a 20cc uh, four stroke, would be uh, an enormous user of glow fuel. And glow fuel in the UK is outrageous in terms of cost so it's my intention to fit this with something new to me and that's uh, a DLE 20cc gasser or petrol engine um, it's just something I want to try and this seems the perfect vehicle to try it on these are one of two sheets for the wings port and starboard upper and lower um, no sheeting of the forward part of the wing it's considered to be strong enough without um, it makes use of spars made of spruce um, you can download these plans by the way on outer zone although there's a couple of slight variations in the design um, for example the spars in the outer zone version are a single spar um, running through and this uses a double spruce spar uh, but all the ribs are drawn and included and then to the kit itself well what do you get well the first thing that strikes you is this big blister pack um, these blisters were intended for the the bumps or lumps on the coal itself this the spats exhaust system and headrest 
Um, here we have some water slide transfers. And rather quietly, I think, there's a, tra um, a water slide that you can put into your model in the event of the model being lost it belongs to. Well, I think if you had a flyaway with a model of this size, uh, name and address would be the least of your worries. But they're included in the kit. And then what else do you get? Well, here's a blister pack figure that I made up one uh, really Sunday afternoon when I couldn't get out to fly. Um, he was fun to make, but I suspect he's a bit over scale. We'll see. We'll see. But you get an awful lot of balsa wood. That's the first thing that struck me when I opened this up. Um, plywood sheet. None of it's marked or cut. That's described as the wing jig. It's the wood to make the wind wing jig. Um, and then piles of blocks of balsa wood. This is going to involve an awful lot of fettling, carving, sanding. The nearest you get to any sort of um, pre-working are the wing tips, which have sort of got a rudimentary shape to them. Lots of uh, strip. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of balsa strip. Some um, formed leading edge. And then lots of spruce strip for the spars. More bags of wood. Um, lots of ribs, which the previous owner, or the perhaps even the person before, has actually cut out. And being a biplane, there are lots of them. Um, it'll be a fun build. And you can see the sacrificial piece of balsa on the bottom to support the, um, the rib when the model's being built. This is typical of the build. These are the fairings for the fuselage to the wing, and they're basically in a on a piece of wood, uh, balsa wood, and you have to cut them out. Somebody's done two, and then obviously got sick of the process and stopped. They, they double up to make uh, two per side. There's a more plywood. There's a box of a bag of um, some hardware. These are the Cabana um, struts, which have been brazed, which is a good idea or a model of this sort of size. Um, the undercarriage is also missing. Uh, I'm not concerned about that because I would like to actually add a scale undercarriage in a similar way to the scalar undercarriage I produced for the Tiger Moth, the Hobby King Tiger Moth. Um, that's just a bag of nuts and bolts and wire and so on. The formers have been cut out, or some of them have, which I've put in a bag. Some of these are in ply and haven't been taken out yet. more bits of wood and then this gives you an idea of the sort of design not pre-cut but just printed on are some of the formers the tail surfaces these need to be cut out carefully sanded to shape um, to make the model itself it's just like really one step ahead of uh, building from scratch I'm really looking forward to this build. It's something I think I'll enjoy getting my teeth into, adding my own personal little touch to it. I'm going to enjoy doing some research on the prototype uh, and hopefully I can add enough detail to it to keep me interested and make for an impressive model at the field. Plus it'll have that power plant that I described earlier on 
And that's all new to me. And I love trying new things and trying experiments with things I've never done before. So until then, uh, Fritz says bye. I hope you can get flying. If you can't get flying, I hope you can get the balsa knife out and get some building done. Bye for now.